my invention, which um, is called Hospital in a Box. Okay. It's a medical device um, that um, contains most of the diagnostic um, equipment that are needed in helping to provide comprehensive healthcare. We're thinking of selling this uh, uh, machine to, to governments, hospitals, and uh, the private um, uh, doctors in the private sectors. A lot of people have such devices. I've seen many of them. And the big criticism is that machines are taking the place of a human doctor. So how would you respond to that? Well, it's not taking the place of human doctors. It's only going to help doctors to increase their productivity. All right? Like I just told you, the doctor can be somewhere. All right? The person you're going to train to use the device is not going to make diagnosis. All right? It's just like a technician. See, most of these things in here, they've been done by technicians, truly. All right? So all and these... And nurses. And, well. and nurses. So all this, we have, all this data we have to be collated and sent to the doctor who will now go through these uh, this, uh, results and the history of the patient and make his recommendation. Okay, so that's your blood pressure. That's the eardrum. That's so what does this tell you medically? So if you have ear infection, you'll be able to. And one thing about this device also, it can be used to examine any, any part of the body. Like, yeah, if you have a rash, you can capture and send pictures to a dermatologist who will actually tell you what the rash is. How would you sell, how would you market the hospital in a box to me? Oh, well, um, we're trying to use um, the internet. And I think eventually we're going to try to do for distributors all over the country also. So um, we actually look into various avenues, you know. But um, if, if I want to come to Zimbabwe, I would actually like the government of Zimbabwe to be involved also. Okay. You know, to, add, to add some legibility to, to the idea. So you won't go directly to the hospitals. You want the government to intervene. Yeah, because yeah, because in the in the in most of the third world countries, it's the government that is actually that owns the hospitals. So you can't you can't go directly to the hospitals. You have to go through the Ministry of Health mm -hmm. or Department of Health. But there's also another phenomenon in many third world countries where it's actually private organizations and religious yes. groups that own hospitals as well. Uh, yes. So and that's the other thing we're trying to look into. Um, Red Cross, yes. um, Doctors Without Borders, um, some of the various uh, uh, philanthropic organizations also. All right, take care. We hope to see you again on Sahara TV. Thank you very much. Thank you.